like it himself. Peyton, good to see you. <clears throat> good to see you. Offense or defense? Uh, both, actually. Both line? Yeah, I play O line and D line. Good man, good man. Yep. Are you excited about the game against Grimsley? Well, uh, I'm not actually going to be on the playing. injured list. Yeah, I have a uh, concussion right now. Uh, so. That hurts. Yeah, it happened last week in the Reagan game. Got to wait one week, is that right? Yeah, we have a bye week next week, so this is the only week I'm out. Wow, that hurts. I feel bad for you right now because you got to just sit there and watch. Yeah, I've had kind of a injury problem this year. I had a broken wrist earlier in the season that I just recovered from and uh, kind of got some neck whiplash from the concussion. Just wow. a lot of stuff. How did that concussion happen, if you can remember? I mean, what happened there? Um, it was kind of a over a... Uh, a period of time, just kind of head-to-head -head contact, and then finally in the game, uh, it was on a. They were kicking a field goal for an extra point, mm -hmm. and a big head-to-head -head contact. And I got off the field fine, and got to the sideline and started getting really dizzy, and just. <laughs> from got what a kind headache. of medication have you taken for this concussion? Anything particular, medical-wise, or just take time off? Just time. Can't yeah. practice either, right? No practice. Mm -hmm. I have to do this whole return. Have to a hush play. puppy, if you will. Do you have yeah. one of those? Have one. I think that might be a good uh, possible cure maybe down the road to give us help. What do you think? It's good. Better than you would expect, huh? Just seeing mm -hmm. that laying around that man. Good hush puppy. Yep. Again, you had a pretty good run last year, right? Didn't you play pretty well last year? Because mm -hmm. remember last year, you were part of the offensive line, defensive lines last year too, right? Yeah, and I played a uh, linebacker last man, year. Man, you look like you'd be a good linebacker. You had to love it last year because you guys are having a good winning run, had some good senior leadership. Uh, yeah. yeah, me and my friend uh, Cole Underwood, we were both the two inside linebackers. We were both juniors, and uh, we didn't have like any linebackers last year, so we had to step up and play the whole That's game. That's fun. And, kind of fun in some ways because no uh, nobody's over there. You guys got to do the job yourself and you're not coming out you know you're staying in yeah it's gonna be your spot mm -hmm. and when I first saw your name I thought Peyton Stahl I was saying man this guy maybe he's a hockey guy he was a hockey player so the uh, Carolina Hurricanes this is Peyton Stahl what happens after high school I mean now you've had this concussion you stay with football and hope maybe go on and still do this in college yeah I'm hoping to play in college um, I've gone to a lot of football camps over the summer some recruiting trips um, I mean, with the injuries, a lot of colleges I know don't like that their senior years. And uh, you got to find a guy who's been recruiting you is going to stick with you. That's the main yeah. thing now. Any colleges you can name that you've uh, taken a look at? Um, I've gone to a couple of camps over the summer. I went to Furman's football camp, but they're not really recruiting a whole lot this year. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Cornell University up That's in New good York. Stuff, good stuff. Ivy League there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I went to Lenore Ryan's football camp and uh, Coastal Carolina. Would you consider Guilford College maybe if you uh, don't connect with those other schools? Yeah, the only problem is is um, uh, I really want to do a pretty big field after I get out of college. Like, yeah. yeah. So the, a lot of the lower level, like Division three, not necessarily lower level, but Division three schools don't have the programs that I want to get into. So that would be the conflict. And if you went that. through, you'd have to take the general academics at Guilford and transfer somewhere else. You yeah. may as well go to that school or other school to begin with. Yeah. How about some of these questions? Toughest player or team you've ever gone up against? Um, man, I'd definitely say Mallard Creek from last year. Can't forget those guys. Yeah, that was a brutal game. Mallard. I just remember tackling that running back that's at NC State now. and That's the Samuels kid mm -hmm. at NC State, and he, the Mavericks were a load. Oh, yeah, they were, they were huge. What's the penalty you've been called for the most over the years? Uh, I'd say just personal foul calls on defense, head-to-head mm -hmm. -head contact and uh, pushing people out of bounds. You think stuff that head-to-head, like head, some of those other head-to-heads might have led to some of this concussion or maybe it all came at one time. You've been probably hitting pretty hard over the years. Yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty heavy kid, so once it gets moving, it... How much do you weigh? About 240. Man, you put together pretty... 240 linebacker? Mm -hmm. Man, I could turn this paper and get you to sign the contract today. I like those 240-pound linebackers. How tall? Six foot two? Yeah. Man, that's a good linebacker size. Man, we could use some of those and uh, start a team up. Mm -hmm. um, what's the key to being at your position, linebacker? What's the key to playing that spot? At linebacker yeah. or D-line? Let's go to um, linebacker. Linebacker, a lot of it for me, uh, getting better at the position was my footwork and stuff. You have to be light on your feet. You have to be able to read plays really well, knowing where the ball is going before it even gets there so you can make the play and stop them in the backfield. The old key word, anticipation. you got to be there before, like you said, when the ball gets you. That yeah. comes from studying the plays, too, right, mm -hmm. prior to the game. Yeah. Uh, the future is blank for Northwest Guilford. How do you feel on that blank? 
I'd say it's on the rise. We've, in the past, uh, Northwest wasn't a very good football team for a long time. And past, uh, I think it's three out of four years, we've won the conference championship, and I think there's just more to come. More good to come for Northwest mm -hmm. in the future. Who's going to finish second in your conference this year behind uh, you guys? East Forsyth. East Forsyth, tough team, yeah. I know. Uh, you remember your uh, middle school coach? Yeah, Coach Ledden for Northwest. For Northwest? Okay. Yeah. What about uh, first ever coach? Uh, my first ever football coach was actually my dad in flag football. He was uh, um, he played football up in Indiana and actually walked on at Ball State. Wow. And um, so he was my first football coach back when I lived in California. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So Coach Stahl back in the day then. Yep. Yeah, because the coach that used to be at Elon, he is at Ball State now. I think in the coach, the assistant coach down at Elon, he was with uh, the former uh, Pete Limbo. Remember Limbo at Elon who went on to Ball State, was the head coach. So anyway, some long stories. Stories will make them shorter. How about uh, ever been to a major league baseball game? No, not baseball. How about NBA game? Uh, not if you don't count the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could. How about yeah. uh, major league baseball, NBA, NFL? NFL, I have, I've been to a couple. Um, I used to go to a lot of Chargers games because my uh, dad worked for Qualcomm, mm -hmm. so it's Qualcomm Stadium. So we used to get free tickets all the time. That's good stuff. That, you guys are living out west? Uh, yeah, we lived in. I lived in San Diego for nine years mm -hmm. before we moved here. How do you like out there opposed to here? It's fun out there, but it's kind of crowded and mm -hmm. um, little. It's a little more expensive too. So yeah, over here, it's, I, it, for me personally, I kind of like it out here better in the remote area. How do you like this uh, top five lineup of North Carolina College teams? East Carolina number one, Duke number two, then NC State, then Carolina, then Wake. Is that the top five in your opinion? Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, as of right now, I think uh, it could be a toss-up between NC State and UNC, but yeah, it can. That could a lot can be decided when they play mm -hmm. coming up soon. Uh, what about the Skins or Giants in the big game tonight? I'd say the Redskins. Okay, hope for the Redskins can get the yeah. win tonight behind their new quarterback Kirk Cousins. Mm -hmm. uh, Panthers or Ravens on Sunday? <laughs> I'm hoping the Panthers pull it out. I haven't seen a lot from the Ravens so far this what season. Would be, what will you be watching when you watch that Panthers game on Sunday? Is that number 89 going to be in your vision? That's Steve Smith from the, the Ravens used to be the Panthers. Is he going to be the key of the game? Everybody watching him, the whole focus? I, I don't think so. I don't think he's what he used to be. How can the Panthers survive? They've lost all these running backs. Mike Tolbert, my main man Tolbert's gone for like two months. That's yeah, going to be no. tough. It's going to be tough, guy. but I think they have the um, – the physical advantage on the line of scrimmage and Olsen has not doing it. He's a good receiver and a good blocker too. Mm -hmm. Put a lot in his hands. Yeah. Uh, Kay Hagan, Republican or Democrat? Uh, Democrat. Tom Tillis, Republican or Democrat? Republican. Okay, you got that. Who do you vote for? Kay Hagan or Tom Tillis? If you had a chance to vote. Uh, I have no idea. All I hear is the T V ads. I know they always see them all night long. Never pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the football antonym. We talked about the two opposites in football. Uh, like the touchdown versus uh, possibly the missed field goal or the late to practice, early to practice, or the big play and the play that did not work. How about a football antonym? Um, a first down versus a turnover. Good call, good call. Let's call Peyton Stahl. Good job tonight. Hope you enjoyed Thank your you. stay at Rib Shack. Good luck in the I game did. against Grimsley since you're not playing again. I don't feel for you. That's I'll be cheering on my team from the sidelines. Put on your best Jameis Winston cap and get out there and go crazy, man. How about that? Yes, sir. Good luck to you. Thanks for being